Hi everyone, welcome to another class of yoga with Carlton. Sit in a way that is comfortable for you to sit. And make sure the space in which you're at practicing today is clear so you don't have anything that's in the way that's likely to cause you uh, distress or anything that's likely to cause injury. Now activate your feet, spread toes, spread the balls of your feet and sit up tall. Align in the back of your skull with your sacrum. And let your arms rest onto your thighs. Close your eyes. And feel yourself grounding as if you're ready for your practice. Bring in your full focus to this moment and bring in your full focus to the next 60 minutes. As you go through your practice today, keep the focus very much on yourself. Try not to have anything around that is going to distract you uh, from your practice. Stay alert and as, as you move through your practice, if you uh, into a pose and you feel that you're pushing so deep so that it's hurting or causing distress then ease back from that. If you have any injuries be mindful of the injuries that you have and don't work in such a way that you're aggravating those injuries. So right now just give yourself a moment and notice how you feel energetically in this glorious day maybe that you're feeling you know really supercharged and ready to go or it may be that you just want to be chilling taking time down for yourself and notice how you feel physically and how you feel emotionally so try to keep all of these in place and showing your awareness of what is going on for you. So right now connect with your breath and feel for bringing in a loving energy into your body with your breath, deep breath. And as you breathe out feeling for that softness as around your neck, your neck is relaxed and jaws relaxed. And breathe into the back of your heart, deep breath, feeling for energizing your heart with this breath. And as you breathe out, relax your belly. Belly seen at the end of the exhale. Breathe to sternum, deep breath and lift chest. Exhale. And one more breath into where you feel you need this breath most. Deep breath. And exhale. Bring your hands by hips slightly behind and then feel as if you're pushing the floor away. Bring the soles of your feet together for Baddha Konasana. Flex your toes back towards your shins. Your heels, they're about 12, maybe 15 inches away from your pelvic bone. Sitting up tall. Kapalabhati breathing is your uh, pranayama today. So from here, take a breath. And a sharp exhale through the nose, moving belly. 75 pumps.
and then from here take a deep breath breathe in for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 hold the breath for 10 so sit bones are pressing down be active lift belly lift diaphragm lift chest and then lengthen keep lengthening out of the lower back Uriana, bring your hands forward of your shins and exhale, exhale through mouth. <sighs> Tuck chin to chest, suck your belly in. Pull your belly all the way back towards your spine. Spreading ribs, spread diaphragm. Keep the shoulders relaxed and keep lengthening ribs away from sacrum. Keep lengthening belly away from pelvis. Release, push the floor away, breathe in as you come in all the way up. Seated side bend, bring your left hand by left hip and then reach the hand about 12 inches away from your hip. Relax your left ear to the left shoulder, feel the opening through the right side of your neck. Press down into your right sit bone, breathe in, stretch your right arm up. And as you breathe out, reach in your right arm over right ear. As you breathe in, feel as if you're pushing the floor away with your left hand as you lengthen out of left side. And as you breathe out, wrapping your right shoulder as you reach your right arm over right ear. On the breath, balloon the breath into your left side ribs, deep into your right side ribs, deep breath. And as you breathe out, that right arm lengthens over right ear. As you breathe, lift sternum. Keep lifting chest as if up towards your chin. Your lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, that right arm is reaching over right here. Second arm position, just move the arm. As you breathe in, reaching your right arm down towards the side. That hand stops about 12 inches from floor. And as you exhale, lift chest. Now breathe, feel as if you're breathing into the left side of your chest. And as you breathe out, as you soften your left shoulder down, relax your chin, lower your chin slightly towards the left side of chest. And as you breathe, lengthen, feel your lengthening ribs away from sacrum. Your sit bones are pressing down. Your mid, your mid ribs lengthens away from lower ribs. Your upper ribs lengthens away from mid ribs. Your chest is lifted. And as you breathe out, softening your right shoulder away from right ear. Use your right arm breathing to pull your body up. Use your left hand to support your head and neck as you come all the way on up. And change for the other side. Your right hand is by right hip. Reach the hand about 12, 15 inches away. Relax your right ear with right shoulder. Feel as if you're pushing the floor away with your right hand. So get the sense of lengthening out of right side. As you breathe in, stretch your left arm up, spread fingers. As you exhale, lengthen your left arm over your left ear. Breathe into your right side ribs and feel the energizing heart with this breath. As you breathe out, as you push the floor away with your right hand, lengthen out of your right side. Press down into left sit bone and then balloon the breath into left side ribs. And as you breathe out, reach with the fingertips of your left hand over left ear. Now breathe in and lift. Lift out of your right side. So lifting chest. And as you exhale, lower your chin slightly towards the right side of chest. Second arm position, just move the arm and as you breathe in, you're reaching your left arm down towards the left side. That hand stops 12, about 12 inches from the floor. You should feel this opening through the left side of your neck. So breathe there, breathe into the left side of your neck, deep breath. And as you breathe out, your shoulders are softening away from your ears. 
Deep breath, keep lengthening, stretching ribs up away from sacrum. Keeping the chest lifted, but the shoulders are down on exhale. One more breath like this, deep breath. Relax jaw on exhale. Use your left arm, breathing to pull your body up and use your right hand to support your head and neck as you're coming all the way on up. Your next pose is a spinal twist, so bring your left foot on top of your right thigh for half lotus. Bring your left hand all the way around the back and tuck it onto your right thigh, hip or clothing. As you breathe in, bring your right arm across your left thigh. And as you breathe out, twist to the left. Breathe in, lift sternum. And exhale, twist to the, twist to the left, keep chest lifted. Now soften the area around your chest and then breathe there. So you're feeding your heart with this breath. Keep spine long. And as you exhale, you're twisting to the left. Sit bones presses down, so you keep length through the spine. One more breath like this, deep breath. Now press your sit bones down and keep feeling for the lengthening as you twist to left. Inhale, release. Wind the cross of your legs. Change the cross of your legs. Your left foot, your right foot is over your left for half lotus. That's a difficult reach, then uh, stay in cross leg seated. Your right hand is by the line it up with your uh, sit bones, or if you can, bring the hand all the way around the back, tucking it onto your left thigh hip or clothing, or you may be uh, able to take hold of your right foot with right hand. Inhale, bring your left arm across against your right thigh. Keep the spine long, and as you breathe out, twist to the right. As you breathe, ex expand your ribs out as wide as you can, without forcing, and as you breathe out, you're twisting towards the right. Now notice where you're feeling this into your body, and then breathe a warming, healing energy into this area. Keeping the spine long, and as you breathe out, twist, twisting towards the right. One more breath like this, deep breath. And twist, twist on exhale to right. Inhale, release, wind the cross of your legs, straighten your legs. From here, keep your uh, left foot reaching forward and bring your right foot back. Your right foot is flat to the floor, aligned with your uh, sit bones. Bring your right elbow back. So you're tucking the elbow against your, you're tucking your tricep against the inside of your uh, right thigh. Right foot is flat to the floor. Reach your left foot forward, spread the toes. Inhale, stretch your left arm up. And as you breathe out, reach your left arm forward. If you can, taking hold of the ball of your foot. Otherwise, the hand is to the floor or taking hold of your ankle or the foot. As you breathe in, lengthen your left side ribs away from left hip. As you breathe out, as you glide your right thigh back, reach your left foot forward, reach the ball of your foot forward into the, uh, into the ball of your uh, left hand. Press in your right foot to floor and breathe in, lift belly, dive from chest. And as you breathe out, you're reaching forward with that left foot. Keep easing your right thigh back. Now breathe and lengthening out of lower back. And as you breathe out, glide your right thigh back as you reach forward. Your ball of the foot reaches forward into your left hand. One more like this, deep breath. Exhale, release. Bring your right foot across your left thigh. 
and then hug. Your left hand is hugging your right thigh towards the chest and your right hand is reaching back. Breathe in and lift belly, down from chest. Exhale, twist to the right. Deep breath, lengthen out of lower back. And as you breathe out, as you twist to the right, you're reaching your left foot forward, toes are spreading. Pressing down, especially into your right sit bone and breathe in, move belly away from the top of your right thigh. And as you exhale, you're twisting to the right. Inhale, release and change. Straighten your right foot. Right re foot reaches straight forward. Left foot is flat to the floor. Bring it back, lining up your heel with your sit bone. Your left hand is tucking. So your tricep is tucking onto the inside of your left thigh. Reach your right arm forward and take hold of the foot. Ball of the foot if you can, or hands to the floor, or onto your ankle or foot. As you breathe in, lengthen out of your right side. And as you breathe out, as you glide your left thigh back, reach forward with the ball of your right foot. So the ball of the right foot reaches forward into the hand. And breathe, lift belly, dive from chest. And as you breathe out, you're reaching forward with that right leg. One more like this. Keep lengthening out of lower back. And as you breathe out, send your right leg forward, but your left thigh glides back. Inhale, release. Bring your left foot over your right. Left foot is flat to the floor. And then bring your right arm across and hug your left thigh towards the chest. Left hand is back, fingertips are to the floor. Inhale, lengthen out of your lower back. Press your right left foot to the floor, twist to the left and reach your right foot forward. Toes are spreading. Breathe in, lift belly away from the top of your left thigh. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're squeezing your left eye closer towards your chest as you twist to left. One more like this. As you breathe in, expand your ribs as wide as you can. And exhale, twist to left. Inhale, release. Unwind the cross of your legs. Lie down on your back, coming into your abdominal sequence starting with elbow to knee. So that's where you're going now. So in elbow to knee, if you lie down on your back and clasp, so lie down on your back, clasp your hands behind your head and neck. Your knees are bent, the soles of your feet are on the floor. If your back is tweaky, keep the feet to the floor. Your pose would be inhale, Lift head, shoulder blades up. You hold the breath. You exhale, you curl your tailbone up and lengthen belly away from pelvis. Your elbows are to your left knee. Now pull your belly in. Feels as if you're compressing the ribs down onto belly and you're pressing lower back to floor. If you can go further, you're lifting the foot off the floor and then keep the knee bent. And if you can go further, straighten in that left leg. Inhale back to center and exhale, lower down. Otherwise, lift your feet up off the floor, bend the knees. Heels are just below the knees, flex the toes to shins. From here, everyone, press your lower back to floor and breathe in, lift head, shoulder blades up. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl to elbow and up. Your elbows are to left knee. Now reach your right leg forward. Spread the toes and reach forward with the ball of your right foot. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, head to centre. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Exhale, curl to elbows up, your elbows are to right knee. Now reach your left leg forward, spread the toes. Reach forward with the ball of your foot. Pull belly in at the end of the exhale. Inhale, head to centre, bend the knees, hold the breath. Exhale, curl to elbow up and reach your elbows to left knee. Now reach your right leg forward. Relax your right hip, glide your right thigh, away, thigh bone away from pelvis. Pull belly in and press the top rib of the sacrum to floor. 
Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Your lower back is pressing down to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Reach your elbows to your right knee. Reach your left leg forward. Relax your left hip. Send your left thigh forward away from waist. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Press the top rim of the sacrum down. Exhale, curl tailbone up and reach your elbows to left knee. Reach your right leg forward, spread the toes. Relax your right hip, curl tailbone up. Send your right leg forward, pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, pressing the lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows are to right knee. Now reach your left leg forward, spread the toes. Relax your right hip, curl tailbone up, send your right leg forward away from waist, pull, pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, lower your head and shoulders to the floor. I'll demonstrate the next pose. So from here, your next pose is star spiral pose. If your back is tweaky, keeping uh, one foot onto the floor. Uh, and your pose will be inhale, lift head, shoulder blades up. You hold the breath. As you exhale, you curl your tailbone up. Your elbows are to left knee. Lift your right leg up if you can. And then stay here. But if you can go further, reach your right leg up. And then pulse. One, pulse. Two, three, pulse. Three. And belly pulls in at the end of the exhale. Inhale back to center. Lower the foot to the floor, and then we'll continue that, that phase from both sides. If your back is not tweaky, you're doing this with the feet off the floor. So inhale, head, shoulders up. Exhale, tailbone is up, elbows to left knee. Your right leg reaches up. You bend the knee slightly, and as you curl tailbone up, you pulse. One, two, three. You reach your right heel up as you reach your elbows to sky. Your belly pulls in at the end of the exhale. Inhale, back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back down. Join in if you haven't. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Now reach your elbows to your right knee. Straighten left leg. Bend the left knee slightly. Curl tailbone up. Now pulse. Reach up with your right left heel. Pulse and pulse. Keep reaching that left heel up. Keep the chest lifted. Reach your elbows up. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press the lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, elbows to left knee. Now reach your right leg out. Bend the right knee strike slightly. And as you exhale, curl tailbones up and pulse. One, pulse. Two, pulse. Three. Keep reaching your right heel to the sky. Keep the chest lifted. Reach your elbows up. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to your right knee. Now reach your left leg up. Curl tailbone up and pulse. 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 Keep reaching your left heel to the sky. Pull belly in. Press your lower back to the floor. Reach your elbows up, feels as if you're unlocking shoulders. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and your lower back is pressing to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows are to right knee, reach your left leg up. Your elbows are to left knee, reach your right leg up. Now curl tailbone up and pulse. Pulse and pulse. Keep reaching your right heel to the sky, reach your elbows up. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to your right knee. Left, left leg is reaching up. Curl tailbone up and then pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep reaching your left heel up. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Exhale, release. Lower your head and shoulders to floor and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. 
Move your heels back so the heels are now aligned with your sit bones. Brush your heels with fingertips and then let your arms rest by your side. Shoulders are relaxing away from your ears. Bridge pose. So press in your lower back to floor and press feet to floor. Breathe in left and side ribs away from hips. Push the floor away with your feet. On exhale, tilt pelvis lifting, pelvis up away from floor. As you breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. You're moving chest to chin. And as you exhale, push the floor away. Lengthen ankles away from heels. And breathe into lower back as you lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And exhale, lift up, push the floor away. Press your feet to floor as you push the floor away. And breathe to where you feel this most. Deep breath. And exhale, lift up, push the floor away as you lengthen ankles away from heels. Deep breath into your area. And as you exhale, send thighs and knees away from you. Breathe into lower back as you lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, as you move your chest to chin, send thighs and knees in the opposite direction. One more breath to your spot, deep breath. And exhale, tilt pelvis lower, upper back to floor. Tilt pelvis lower, mid back to floor. Tilt pelvis as you lower all the way down to the floor. Keep the tilt until you're down. And give yourself a moment to notice how you feel. From here, roll to your right side. Bring your left hand up to the floor by chest, breathe in. As you breathe out, push the floor away with your left hand as you come up. Use your right hand to support your head and neck. Come onto the knees for your next pose, bird wing. So if you can, sit down onto your heels. You might want to pad your knees. Bring your, tuck your elbows into the side ribs, reach your hands forward, fingers are reaching forward. From here, take a deep breath and as you do so, draw your hands together. As you exhale, lift your chest and open your arms out towards the side. Four more like this, breathe in. Exhale, chest lifts and then open arms out. Keep the elbows tucking in. Inhale. And as you exhale, lift and then open. Inhale. As you exhale, lift up and then open arms out. One more. Breathe in. As you exhale, open out. And release. Dolphin is your next pose. So in dolphin, bring your hands onto your biceps to measure. Bring your elbows down to the floor. Elbows are directly under the shoulders. Today, do dolphin with your hands clasped. So reach your hands forward and then clasp your hands. Keep the elbows tucked in so the elbows are no wider than the shoulders. Elbows are tucked in. Now relax your neck, relax your shoulders and relax your upper back. From here, breathe into upper back. Lift, spread back, curl toes under. Exhale, lift your knees off the floor and then moving chest back to thighs and knees. Now breathe in, as you breathe in, spread your upper back. As you exhale, reach your sit bones back. Feel for this lengthening through the spine. Breathe to sternum and feed your heart with this breath. Use your forearms, exhale, push the floor away as you lengthen back. As you breathe, expanding your ribs out to the side, as you exhale, lengthen back, heels are reaching to floor, belly's pulling in. Now on the next breath, if you can, walk your feet in a couple of inches. And as you breathe out, reach your sit bones back, heels are reaching to floor. On the breath, feel the lengthening of top ribs away from shoulders. 
And as you breathe out, the back of your thighs reaches back, back of the calves reaches back. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale, feel for that lengthening. Feel your sit bones as they reach back, heels are reaching to floor. Inhale, release. Bend the knees, knees to the floor. Push the floor away as you're coming up. You come, on, come up to stand, standing near the front of your mat, coming into your salutations. So stand with your feet together. If your back is tweaked, you bring your feet a little bit wider, so you're about hip distance apart. As you exhale, hands together at chest. Press your feet to floor, and as you breathe in, reaching your arms out and up, lift chest. Lift your back ribs as you reach up. Fold forward, bend on exhale. Pull belly in, hands to the floor. Lunge, inhale, step your left leg back. Bend your left knee, place your left knee to the floor. Pat your knee if you need, and push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down. Step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. From here, bend the knees. And as you breathe out, lower down, keeping your elbows tucking in. Once you're all the way down, breathe into cobra. So you move your chest and ribs forward. You're lengthening your legs back. You can also bring the hands forward and gives you a little bit more lift. You can have the forearms to the floor or forearms away from the floor. Exhale, release, lower down, hands under the shoulders, breathe into lower back, curl toes under, and exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Reach your sit bones back. Inhale, step your left foot forward between the hands for lunge. Place your right knee to the floor, pad the knee if you need, push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out, up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step in your right leg forward for forward bend. Inhale, stand. Lengthen through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. And exhale, hands together at chest. Inhale, arms up. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in, hands to the floor. Lunge, breathe in, step your right leg back. Bend your right knee, right knees to the floor. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down. Step your left leg back for plank. Reaching back into heels. And as you breathe out, bend the knees, lower down, keeping elbows in. Inhale, cobra. Move chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. Exhale, release, lower down, hands onto the shoulders, press back, downward dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward, your right foot forward between the hands for lunge. Your left knees to the floor. Push the floor away as you reach your arms towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left foot forward, forward bend. Inhale, stand, lengthen through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands together at chest. Chair pose, bend the knees. Inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Lift your chest, but reach your sit bones back. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, step or hop it back into plank. Lower down, keep elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale. Move chest and ribs forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step your left foot forward by your left hand, right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Turn the right foot forward about 45 degrees angle. Push the floor away as you reach your arms to sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels and as you breathe out, lower down. Inhale, cobra, move chest, ribs forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step your right foot forward by right hand, left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, and as you exhale, lower down, elbows are in. Inhale, cobra, move chest, ribs forward. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog, feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog. On the breath as you breathe in, step or hop the legs between the hands. Exhale, forward bend, lengthen through the spine. Chair pose, beat, bend the knees, reach your arms up, lift your chest, and as you reach your sit bones back. Exhale, stand, and hands together at chest. 
Okay, coming into a series of poses now. So coming in straight into chair pose. From here, bend the knees, and as you breathe in, sweep your arms up, lift the chest, soften the shoulders, and reach your sit bones back. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, move your chest away from thighs and knees. You're lengthening through the spine. Forward bend on exhale. On the breath, as you breathe in, step or hop your legs back and exhale, lower down. Cobra, inhale, move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen your legs back. Exhale, press it back for downward facing dog, feeling for pushing through away in downward dog. Lunge, breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands. Place your right knee to the floor. Pad your right knee if you need. And then reach your arms out and up towards the sky. Twisting lunge. As you breathe in, stretch your right arm up. Left hand is onto left thigh. And as you breathe out, your right elbow is over your left thigh knee. Make a fist with your right hand. Left hand is on top. Press into your right shin. As you breathe in, lengthening your ribs away from right hip. Press your left foot to floor. Twist to left on exhale. Breathe into lower back as you lengthen ribs away from sacrum. Twist to the left on exhale. One more breath here, deep breath. And as you breathe out, you're opening out towards the left. On the next breath, if you can, release your right arm down to the outside of your left foot. If you have a block and you're not able to achieve that, place the hand onto a block and reach your uh, left arm up to sky. Breathe in, keep lengthening out of your right side. And as you open, exhale, open toward the left, glide your left hip back, left sit bone reaches back. Breathe to sternum, deep breath, and feed your heart with breath. And as you breathe out, reach your left arm up and twist to left. Inhale, release, hands down either side of your left foot. Uh, la uh, lounge lunge so bring your right hand forward about 12 inches ahead of your shoulder use your left hand to traction your left thigh forward reach your right leg back and then breathe in lengthening your ribs side ribs away from your right hip and as you breathe out you're moving your right side ribs to the inside of left leg now breathe in and lengthen out of lower back Press your left foot to the floor as you move your sternum towards your left thigh. And breathe, feel for moving belly away from pelvis. Push the floor away on exhale. The right arm pushes the floor away. You're moving chest towards your left thigh. Your left leg, your right leg is active. It's lengthening away from you. Inhale, release. Hands either side of your left foot. Step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels and as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows tucking in. Clasp your hands behind your back for boat. And then breathe in, lift chest, lift legs. And as you breathe out, lengthen your legs back. Keep the chin tucked into chest. As you breathe, keep feeling for moving belly forward. Move the chest forward as if to up to chin keep the chin tucked into chest and as you breathe out as you lengthen your legs back sit bones tucks to heels one more here deep breath exhale release lower down hands under the shoulders breathe into lower back curl toes under exhale press back downward facing dog feeling for pushing floor away in your downward dog uh, on the next breath, as you breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands for lunge. Place your left knee to the floor, pad your left knee. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. Press into your left shin. And as you breathe in, stretch your left arm up. Twisting lunge as you breathe out, bring your left elbow over your right thigh. Make a fist with left hand, right hand is on top. Press into your left shin and breathe in, lengthening your left ribs away from left hip. And as you breathe out, as you twist to the right, glide your right hip back. 
and breathe to sternum and feed your heart with this breath. And as you breathe out, as you twist to the right, glide your right shoulder down. On the next breath, release your left arm down to the outside of your right foot and reach your right arm up to the sky. Extended twisting uh, lunge. Now breathe in and lengthen your side ribs away from left hip. And as you breathe out, as you open out towards the right, your right fingertips reaches to sky. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale, release. Hands are down either side of your uh, right foot. Reach your left hand forward, about 12 inches away from shoulder. Use your right hand to traction your thigh forward, setting up for lounge lunge. Your, right, your left leg is lengthening back away from you. So as you anchor into left leg, breathe in, lengthening the ribs on your uh, left side. Press your right foot to the floor as you twist towards the right. As you breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. Now reach back into your left leg and move your chest closer as if closer towards your right thigh. Press your right foot to the floor. Now breathe into lower back. Keep lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're arcing chest towards your right thigh. Inhale, release. Bring your hands either side of your right foot. Step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows tucking in. From here, keep the hands under the shoulders, tops of the feet presses to floor. When you inhale, press the tops of your feet to the floor. And as you breathe in, move your chest and ribs forward, just using your belly. And as you exhale, lower down. Slight use of the hands. Tops of the feet presses to floor. Breathe in, lift up, move chest and ribs forward. And as you exhale, lower down. Three more like this. Tops of the feet presses to floor. As you breathe in, moving your chest and ribs forward. Keep drawing the chest forward as much as you can. And exhale, lower down. One more, breathe in and move your chest and ribs forward. Your legs are lengthening back. Keep the neck relaxed. And exhale, release, lower down. Hands under the shoulders. Breathe into lower back, curl toes under. Exhale, press back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog. On the next breath, warrior one. As you breathe in, step your left foot forward by your left hand. Easing your right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Turn the right foot forward about 45 degrees angle. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out towards the sky. Warrior one. Press into both legs and breathe in, lengthening the ribs out and up. Push the floor away on exhale as you go a little deeper. Clasp your hands behind your head and neck and lift your chest, reach your elbows up. The elbows are slightly broader than the shoulders. And as you press your feet to the floor, breathe in, push the floor away as you lift up. And as you breathe out, reaching your elbows up to sky. Breathe to sternum and feed your heart with this breath. And as you breathe out, pushing the floor away and keep lengthening out and up. Now feel the strength through your feet. Draw this energy from the earth on the breath and breathe in deeply as you stretch up. Now push the floor away on exhale. Inhale, release. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Your next pose is twisting warrior. So as you breathe in, reach in your right arm up as you open through the right side. Left hand is to the left thigh. And as you breathe out, your right elbow is over your left thigh. Make a fist with your right hand, left hand is on top. Now breathe in and lengthen your right ribs away from right hip. And as you breathe out, rolling chest open towards the left. As you breathe, keep lengthening belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, as you twist to the left, glide your right shoulder away from right ear. 
Breathe into lower back and lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, push the floor away with your right leg as you come deeper into this twist. Extended twisting warrior. Your right arm is down on the outside of your left foot and your left arm is reaching up towards the sky. On the breath, push the floor away with your right leg as you lengthen out of right side. And as you breathe out, reach in your left fingertips to sky. Breathe into lower back and lengthen ribs away from sacrum. Push the floor away with your left foot on exhale. One more breath like this, deep breath. Exhale, release. Bring your hands down, hands are under the shoulders. Step your left leg back for plank. Feet together, exhale, lower down. Keeping elbows tucking in. Cobra, inhale, move chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. Exhale, release, lower down, press back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in your downward dog. On the breath, warrior one, breathe in, step your right foot forward by your right hand, left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Press your feet to floor and then breathe in, stretch up, lengthen up. And as you breathe out, go a little deeper. Pray in the brain, clasp your hands behind your head and neck. Lift the chest, reach your elbows up. As you breathe, lift sternum. As you breathe out, push the floor away as you reach your elbows to sky. As you breathe, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. As you breathe out, push the floor away, keep the chest lifted. Reach your elbows up. Now breathe into your spot, deep breath, feeding your spot with this breath. And as you breathe out, as you push the floor away, you're lengthening up, arms to sky, elbows to sky. Inhale, release. Float your arms out and up to sky, warrior one. Twisting warrior. As you breathe in, press your left foot to floor. Lengthen your left arm up. Right hand is onto right thigh. And as you breathe out, your left elbow is over your right thigh. Make a fist with left hand. Right hand is on top. Breathe in, lengthen away from your left foot. And as you reach your left foot back to floor, twist to the right. As you breathe, Lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you press your right foot to the floor, glide your right hip back as you twist to right. Breathe to sternum, deep breath. And as you breathe out, moving both shoulders away from your ears. Extended twisting warrior, bring your left arm down on the outside of your right foot. And then reach your right arm up towards the sky. Press back into your left leg. As you breathe in, lengthen through the left side of your body. Press your right foot to floor. As you twist to the right, your right arm is reaching to sky. Now breathe in and expand your ribs. And as you breathe out, open up, reach. Reach the fingertips to the sky. The right fingertips reaches up. Last breath here, deep breath. Exhale, release. Hands to the floor. Step your right leg back. Step back for plank. Reaching back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows tucking in. From here, uh, boat, boat with shrugs. So your hands there under the shoulders. This, you're lengthening your legs back. So your hands are slightly ahead of the shoulders, sorry. From here, take a deep breath. And as you inhale, lift chest, lift legs, lift arms. And as you breathe out, glide the shoulders down, squeeze your elbows in as you lengthen your legs back. And then breathe, breathe in, broaden your upper back, reach your arms forward. And as you breathe out, lift chest, reach your elbows back, squeeze your elbows in, lengthen your legs back. Three more, breathe in, broaden upper back, arms reach forward. Exhale, chest lifts, reach your arms back, squeeze elbows in. Now send sit bones to heels. And breathe in as you broaden the upper back. Arms reach forward. Exhale, chest lifts. Slide the shoulders down. Squeeze your elbows in. Lengthen your legs back. Sit bones touch the heels. One more. Breathe in as you broaden the upper back. Exhale, lift up. Glide the shoulders down. Squeeze the elbows in. And release. Lower down. Hands are under the shoulders. Breathe into lower back. Curl toes under. 
and exhale, press it back. Downward facing dog. Feeling for push and flow away in your downward dog. On the next breath as you breathe in step, your left foot forward back by your left hand for warrior one. Right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you reach your arms out, up towards the sky. Warrior one. Keep your right arm reaching up, bring your left arm down behind. Tuck the forearm onto sacrum. From here, you have the option of keeping your right arm reaching up for Lance Dodger. Or you can bring the hands and like as if you're cradling the brain. So press down into your right leg, breathe in length and out of right side. And as you breathe out, push the floor away with your left leg, keep the chest lifted. Breathe to sternum and feed your heart with this breath. Use your left forearm to tuck sacrum down as you reach your right arm or reach your right elbow up. So feel this opening right down into a right armpit. And breathe in, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, push the floor away. Keep the chest lifted, keep reaching that right elbow up. Inhale, release. Bring your hands to the floor. Either side of your left foot, place your right knee to the floor. Pad your right knee. From here, pad your right knee and reach your right hand back. Bend your right knee, grab hold of the ankle of the foot for lunge H to B, heel to butt. As you breathe in, feel, as you breathe in, feel as if you're lengthening your ribs away from your right thigh. And as you breathe out, come in a little deeper and draw your right heel in towards your buttock. Press your left foot to floor and breathe in, lift belly away from left thigh. And exhale, come in deeper, drawing your heel in. Now breathe into lower back and feel as if you're lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And exhale as you come in a little deeper. Inhale, release. Come up and then reach your left hand back, taking hold of your right ankle with both, both hands for lunge back bend. As you breathe in, lift sternum. As you breathe out, reach your right heel back away from you. Press your left foot to floor. Inside of the left foot is active. Now breathe in and lift belly, lift down from lift chest, as if you're lifting chest to sky. And as you breathe out, reach your right heel away from you. On the next breath, you're lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, reach your heel back. Keep the chest lifted. Inhale, release. Release your right foot. Bring your hands to the floor, either side of your left foot, and step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down, elbows are tucked in. Cobra, inhale. Move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen the legs back. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog. On the breath, warrior one. Breathe in, step your right foot forward by your right hand, left foot towards the left, edge of the mat, turn the foot forward, 45 degrees angle, push the floor away as you reach your arms to the sky, press into both legs as you breathe in, telescoping ribs up, shoulders down and exhale, lance dodger, bring your right arm around about, forearms tucked to the sacrum, your left arm either reaches up, straight up like a spear, or lance like a lance, or bring the hands behind, your elbow is reaching up, you've taken hold of the back of your neck. Now press into both legs, and as you breathe in, lift sternum. Push the floor away on exhale as you reach your left elbow to sky. Breathe into lower back as you're lengthening ribs away from sacrum. Push the floor away on exhale, keep the chest lifted. One more like this, deep breath. Exhale, release. Hands to the floor, place your left knee down. Pad your left knee, your next pose is uh, lunge H to B, heel to butt. So your left hand reaches back, you bend your left knee, grab hold of the ankle or the foot. Tra traction your right thigh forward. As you breathe in, lengthen, feel as if you're lengthening out of left side. And as you breathe out, bend your front knee and draw your left heel as close towards your butt as you can. 
and then deep breath, inhale. Keep lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And exhale as you're taking it a little deeper. One more breath like this, deep breath. And if you, as you exhale, coming in as deep as you can. Inhale, release. Grab hold of your left ankle with both hands for lunge back bend. With both hands, grabbing the ankle. Press your right foot to floor. Breathe in, lift sternum. And as you breathe out, reach your left heel away from you. Now breathe in and lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, sending that left heel back, but keep chest lifted. Excuse me, two more breaths, deep breaths. And exhale, keep sending that left heel back. One more breath into your spot, deep breath. And as you breathe out, you're taking it a little deeper. Inhale, release. Bring your hands down to the hands under the shoulders. Step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels and as you breathe out, lower down. Keep elbows tucking in as you lower down. Bring your hands forward about 12 or so inches away from your shoulders. Press the tops of your feet to the floor. And as you breathe in, move your chest and ribs forward. Keep drawing the chest through the arms. Lengthen your legs back. And as you breathe out, lower down. Three more like this, tuck elbows, breathe in. Move chest and ribs forward. You're lengthening your legs back, squeeze your elbows in. And as you breathe out, lower down. Two more, breathe in, moving chest and ribs forward. Keep moving the chest through the arms, but lengthen your legs back. And as you breathe out, lower down, chest is moving forward. Last one, tuck elbows, breathe in. Move chest and ribs forward. Keep the chest going forward, keep lengthening your legs back. Exhale, release, lower down. Hands are under the shoulders, breathe into lower back, curl toes under. Exhale, press back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in your downward dog. On the breath, bend the knees or step or hop the legs between the hands and then coming down into a seated position. From your seated position, straighten your left, your right leg reaches straight forward. Bring your left foot over so you're in half knee power. You're working with a knee to knee alignment. Your, right, your left heel comes towards your right hip. Press down into sit bones. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Pull belly in, exhale as you fold forward. You might be able to take hold of the foot, the ankle, the calf or hands to floor. Breathe in and lengthen lower ribs away from sacrum. Pull belly in, exhale as you fold. Breathe in, expand your ribs. Exhale as you fold. On the next breath, feel this right from your pelvic bowl as you move belly away from pelvis. And exhale as you fold. Inhale, release, push the floor away, breathe in as you come all the way up. Change the cross of your legs. Straighten your left leg. Tuck your right foot over, drawing your right heel towards your left hip. Half knee power. Your hands are by hips, and then reach your left leg forward. Press down into sit bones, inhale, arms are up. Pull belly in, exhale, fold forward, hands to the floor. Breathe in, lengthen belly, away from pelvis. As you breathe out, allow your body to melt forward. Breathe into lower back, deep breath. And exhale as you fold. One more like this, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, release, push the floor away, breathe in as you come all the way up. Lie down on your back. Straighten the legs, then lie down on your back for your final pose, Shavasana. Let your arms relax down by your side, the shoulders relaxed away from your ears. 
You can lie down with the soles of your feet onto the floor or the soles of your feet together so the knees are out to the side or straighten the legs. If you do straighten the legs, bring your legs a little bit wider on your mat so you feel this opening into hips, into pelvis, into lower back. Close your eyes and just allow yourself to be. Still your mind and feeling the energy that moves through your body now. Noticing how good your body feels. So relax completely, the back of the skull is relaxed. Relax your forehead. Relax your eyes, eye sockets, and relax your nose. Relax your jaw, so this is a good moment to open your mouth and moving jaw from side to side. Helping to release into jaw bones, down into your masseter muscles and into your neck, scalies muscles. Let your shoulders relax away from your ears. Relax your collarbones. So feel the softening around your thorax, around your sternum. And feeling for opening up and releasing the pressure away from heart. Let go of your upper back. Feel your upper back spreading to the floor. And relax your mid back and lower back, slight, slight tuck into tailbones as you get into lower back, helping to release into sacral area. Relax hips and pelvis, relax thighs, relax knees, relax calf, shins and ankles, relax feet and toes. Relax your arms, Triceps, relax and relax biceps. Relax your elbows. Relax your forearms, your wrists and hands. Relax your fingers. <laughs> Allow yourself to completely relax. And giving yourself time just to notice how you feel now. How you feel physically, how you feel energetically, and how you feel emotionally. So feel that energy that moves through you, that moves around you. And using your breath to draw the energy into your body, allowing it to soak into cell tissues. Allowing yourself to be invigorated with this breath. On your next breath, stretch out in a way that feels good to you. On your next breath, bend the knees and roll to your left side. Bring your right hand to the floor by chest, breathe in. And as you breathe out, push the floor away with your right hand as you come up. Left hand supports your head and neck. Coming up into a seated position. Bring your hands together, the thumbs are lightly touching sternum. Congratulate yourself for your practice and thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. Finishing with a breath that soothes and warms your body. And exhale. Namaste. Thanks everyone. Very well done for making it. Uh,
keep yourself hydrated, it's super warm outside, so keep yourself hydrated through the day over the next uh, days, temperatures set to stay uh, high, so look after yourselves, take care of yourselves, Epsom salt, magnesium salts, any of the salts uh, help to take this out of your body, getting your body recovered uh, quickly. Eat some nice watery food and look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a fantastic weekend.